All right, what's going on, guys? Willis here. We're back with another Hell of Divers 2 video. In this video, guys, I wanted to go over some, basically, some breaking news to the game. Um, a new free cape, which Arrowhead are giving all of the survivors of Malevolon Creek. All that and more in this video. Be sure to support this video with a like, guys, and a comment. It will really help me in the search engine. Let's try and get this video to 1,000 likes. It will take you one second and leave a comment as well. It will really help me out. But yeah, let's jump into it. So it looks like the railgun got a new charge meter next to the scope. So normally before we only got these two little um, charge meters on the side, they've now added it to the scope, a little change, which was sort of, I guess, missed on the patch notes, but it sort of gives us a more better idea where we should be charging um, the railgun in unsafe mode. So if you basically don't know that this thing is basically unusable, unless you shoot it at the very peak of its charge so yeah it's probably why they've done this to be honest so if you're not aware guys they have added a bunch of new levels or i guess they've increased the level cap um obviously you got new titles as well which come with this at level 60 70 80 90 100 basically every 10 levels and then the final one is called super private which is funny i don't know why they didn't replace like the super private with hell commander but you get hell commander at level 100 and then obviously super private at 150 pretty sick so according to uh one of the websites which track i guess like kills and stuff it looks like we have 16 confirmed illuminate kills on super earth interesting uh, someone said they were poking around in the galactic war chart and found some rather interesting details some planets on the terminated front report confirmed automaton kills and vice versa for the automaton front all planets have zero confirmed illuminate kills except for super earth does anyone have information as to why this is the case? Uh, are the Illuminate popping up on Super Earth? Who knows? Jumping into some leaks, we now have some Illuminate structures making their way to the game. These sort of big, weird looking building type structures around the sort of central, sort of like terminal, almost portal type thing. So it looks like this could potentially be like a, a spawn point probably. So you can sort of see the size difference here. So this is actually john helldiver down here compared to an illuminate so yeah these model things whatever they are they're pretty huge just for some comparison this massive thing here yeah it's it's this big pretty sick and we've actually got some breaking news eight hours ago and yeah it looks like the illuminate ships are starting to be spotted in this leaked audio message which i'm assuming will play on the tvs at some point during like the broadcasts within the next few days maybe who knows? But yeah, let's listen to it real quick. Good evening. I'm your host, Coretta Kelly. What you're looking at here is recently released footage from the Ministry of Defense showing an interstellar object that seems to resemble an Illuminate void ship. The Illuminate have long been considered eradicated following the First Galactic War. But this video is causing some to question if any somehow survived. Officials say they have not yet confirmed whether the object is truly Illuminate in origin, but that they are considering all possibilities. That's Liberty's latest. I'm Coretta Kelly. So yeah, it looks like whatever is happening here, yeah, the Illuminate are starting to make their way into our solar system, or maybe they're already here. They've just been here the whole time watching us for the past few weeks with all these like invisible blue light streaks we're seeing these invisible ships we're now starting to see in the sky i think they're just watching us to be honest with you and it's kind of creeping me out so the next war bond banner has been leaked this was leaked basically a million times but if you haven't seen it this is basically what it looks like it is the democratic detonation set it comes with this huge beefy bomb defusal guy armors and obviously the new weapons which is He's holding the explosive crossbow. I think this is some type of marksman rifle. And then this is some type of explosive sniper. And yeah, it looks like the airburst rocket launcher has been leaked as well. So this thing is basically an anti-air rocket launcher by the looks of it. It was posted on the Helldivers Leaks Reddit. There's no actual gameplay because apparently it just crashes the game. But yeah, this is basically what it looks like here. So um, we actually saw um, a video of this a few days ago of this rocket model here and these these backpacks with the three rockets so basically this is how it works you shoot it into the sky and what it basically does is it causes this air burst 
effect and yeah it, it's meant to destroy obviously aerial combatants so i'm assuming we're going to get this in the next few days to obviously deal with the automaton ships um if you're not aware there's automaton ships which are spawning on the automaton uh owned planets and yeah this is obviously going to be really good i think as well for the um the shrieker bugs which are running havoc everywhere pretty much on the bug planets so yeah it looks like you have three rockets in total it looks like it takes out pretty much everything in the air and yeah i guess it's the the anti-air rocket launcher as it were but yeah it still looks like you need a teammate to reload i'm assuming you can obviously equip the backpack yourself but yeah if you want those quick reloads you're probably gonna have to get yourself a teammate so some leaks of this new weird bug looking type platform um some people are saying it's the the hive lords spawn chamber or what the i guess the hive lord is going to come out the big huge worm bug yeah i think if this this hive lord or whatever it is pops out without any announcement that's going to be pretty terrifying but yeah there's these weird like long i guess like tendrils i'm assuming these tendril things come from the hive lord maybe they just like pulled you into the hole or something interesting and yeah this new model here of like a massive hole which i think we've seen before as well just like another angle and then down here obviously we have one that's already in the game which is i guess the skeleton of the hive lord and then finishing up helldivers 2 actually tweeted out uh, a few minutes ago actually basically saying this the presidential decree the president of super earth has officially recognized this day as malevolon creek memorial day this week in remembrance all helldivers will be issued a special commemorative cape so they may carry the memory of their fallen companions into battle i did check if this was in game it looks like it's going to be a sort of slow rollout but yeah this is the cape you get it's called the fallen heroes vengeance a heroic a heroic fallen live on this cape guiding its bearers aim to the heart of those who killed them pretty sweet it's black cream and red obviously to match the automatons on malevolent creek but Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little news update, I guess, leaks video. I know you guys are enjoying most of these videos I'm doing. So support the video with a like. It'll help me out tremendously as well. We will be running some more giveaways soon. And we may even pick some people who leave a comment on this video for a chance to win a copy of Helldivers. And with that being said, guys, hope you have a fantastic week and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.